Your barn is pretty dirty. Might be time to clean up. Oh, I just can't manage all of these chores at the same time. Hello, my friends. My name is Anki. Welcome back to another episode of my time at Sandrock. Um, ooh, Heidi's got a little quest Anything for me. you want for breakfast? It's never okay to start the day with an empty belly. Um, you know, I just want to know Morning. what it is. I still got several designs left to check. Let's hang out when I'm finished. Okay. Hon. <laughs> So here's a gift I prepared for you. What did I get? A potted cactus. You catch up on sleep? That's fun. Um, you know, my dear, gosh, she is always trying to get me, honestly, to just take a break, to relax a, relax a little bit. And I, for the life of me, can't seem to bring myself to do it. All I want to do is build. Oh my gosh, what a life we've gotten ourselves. Potted cactus. Let's check this out. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> Can it go on the desk or something? <laughs> it's the tiniest little cactus. <laughs> why does this crack me up so much? It's so tiny. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, why don't we put something like this on the wall? There we go. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And then um, I lost an entire wardrobe. That's what was here. So I think that's down in the mailbox. Am I right about that? I think it is. What is this? That's crazy. I have no idea what that is. Okay, we're still trying to figure out how to get these stairs to not just be a total disaster. They suck. And uh, it really is bringing me nothing but sadness and pain. I can't really bring the, um, I can't really bring this any more narrow. So the only thing I can think to do is maybe, I am gonna fuss with this a little bit to start because it's driving me nuts. Um, but look at this move. Can I move this? Okay, so I can, I can actually move this over to here. What if we did that? And then what if we did something like this? Okay, um, actually I'm gonna move it maybe one more. Something like that. Now, obviously the problem is going to be when we go upstairs, oh, hello. Actually, that's not, okay, this is not the worst thing in the world. It really isn't the worst thing in the world. This is a much more manageable space. Oh my gosh, this is so much closer to better, isn't it? And I'm tempted to actually extend this kitchen wall just so it matches here and then move this door to right move here well this this might actually work and then if i bring this wall closer this will make more sense won't it hmm. um we're getting there this is still a very small space it's not a very large space at all it really does make it hard to try and figure out how to make this. These stairs are just too much, but I, I want to make them work. I really do because I don't want ladders in my house like I live in a tree house. I said that multiple times. Okay, we've had, we've done, let's just do the day. What funness has, has this game in store for us? Let's find out. Hopefully we pushed all the way through. We've got, hey, oh, I wanted to talk to you. Don't know if you've heard, but Haru's leaving Sandrock the day after tomorrow to, uh, Go and study in the tar. That was so fast. He was just saying less than a week ago that he was like not ready to leave, and now he's heading off to a tar. I am very, very excited for Haru. I truly am because I think this is going to be great for him. Like I said, I mean, he's going to basically be the coolest guy in that college. Okay, Mian is on her way here. What is going on? Is she just going to blast right by? Okay, cool. Um, but he's got to be heartbroken, right? Yeah. He's like a little brother to me. I got to do something for him. Nice and simple. So I'm planning for us to get together uh, at the old camp. Have a meal like old times. You have time to come along? I'm sure he'll appreciate it. My friend, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Well, all right. I got to go get a gift for him. I know he's going to be doing a whole bunch of experiments over there. Maybe Fang has some test tubes or something. <laughs> so cute. Come to the cave tomorrow anytime after 6 p.m. I'll tell Rambo to wait for you. Okay, dope. One flew over the bandit's nest. Haru is going away to study Nataro. He really loves camera. Maybe I can make him some goggles? 
Goggles for experiments. Yes. How do I make goggles? Wait until tomorrow. Oh, sand gear? Oh, I have an extra pair of sand gear, so that's easy. Let's see. Construction Junction. Hey, you um, continually make a giant mess of your house. Mint has just arrived in Sandrock. On top of that, Heidi's team has also finished final checks on the tumble and declared it complete. Congrats again. We will be having a city hall meeting today to discuss the final steps needed to complete this endeavor. Come as soon as you can. Excellent. Tumbleweed standard. Top builders of Porsche. Lately, development in Porsche has been better and more efficient than ever. Porsche Town Hall would like to acknowledge the following builders. King of Kings, an alias of a builder that worked hard to make things better for the world, but still did more by defending it with martial strength. A soft and empathetic builder known for rising to the occasion, pushed by the challenges of our dangerous world to protect close to him. I know who that sounds like, me. <laughs> <laughs> Pillar, an extremely diligent builder who strives to always add to her list of achievements. Her workshop is known around the land for quality, punctuality, and heart. Darko, one of the greatest builders to ever walk the free cities. And it says that the size of his commission board in Porsche was expanded to keep up with the demand that Darko created. Shayel? Shayel? I'm probably saying that wrong. Famous not only for top-notch production, but also for having a really cool workshop logo. Some wonder if the logo was what led Chayelle to greatness, but more considered it to be a chicken and egg kind of situation. Giru. Everybody knows and loves Giru. It's not just Giru's hard work and skill that endears us. Spending even just a moment in Giru's company will leave you with a feeling of attachment. Shigar, friendly, dependable, and exactly the guy you want checking up on your machines, has improved the efficiency of 12 other workshops and counting with his incisive insight and consultation. Honorable mention, Higgins. Tries real hard, you know? Okay, cool. <laughs> that was adorable. Um, okay, can I... Can I just acquire one of these? I don't think... I'm gonna say yes. Oh, we only got two items and the rest just landed on the ground. This is not good. Okay. Let's see if we can't fix this because not having our closet is a problem. Okay, interact. We're going to sort all. Confirm. There we go. That should free up just uh, enough space. Let's go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have to make sure I have... Hey, oh my gosh. News. Seems oh, like wow. that giggler woke up. Let's go check it out at the clinic. Okay. Okay. We got a lot going on today. Oh my goodness. This is exciting. Okay. Whoa. Let me try this. <laughs> Didn't he talk? Didn't he talk? Why is he hissing at him? Where, where am I? Who are you? What, what do you mean my mother was a fish? Okay, he looks like he's like he's got chains wrapped around his arms, around his neck. Maybe he was in some sort of Giegler prison. What's going on here? Oh, uh, is that what I said? Sorry. Never mind that. You can speak our language? Wait, why am I surprised? What's your name? Why were you in that canyon? The canyon? What canyon? This I... thing is crazy looking. Hey, uh, you bump your head or something? You real polite for a giggler. That's rude. Anybody can be polite. I wait. Who am I? I... Where where did I come from? I can't remember. These are really creepy. Hey hey, it's okay. Relax, buddy. How can I relax <laughs> when I can't remember? I like this guy. He's out again. Doc, do something. Acupuncture may help. Oh, yeah. Just poke him. <laughs> Does he have acupuncture? If you don't know, don't use acupuncture on him. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Here we go. Boink. Ow! <laughs> don't make the Giggler mad. Sheriff, do not scare the patient anymore. What? All I did was... All right, all right, I get it. I remember. <laughs> I guess it worked. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> I was at Gecko Station with my brethren. Gecko Station? You one of the Giggles from over there? I used to... Uh, my head. Howdy. I heard you got a Giggler cooped up in here. You awake yet? I did some digging around after their leader died. 
Seems like there was some sort of infight. Then they all moved off someplace else. That leader's partner died in the chaos or something. How did he come to figure all this out? Huh? He's like, oh God, not you. Logan, watch what you're saying. Doc said nothing too shocking. Oh, what I say? Uh, that his entire people moved off and that his leader died? Are you okay? <laughs> Fang, so sweet. I remember. <laughs> no mo no movement of the mouth. We don't need that. He talks? <laughs> this is, everyone is so giggler racist. I guess they haven't had a very good experience with gigglers, but dang. I'm Larry. <laughs> the president of the gigglers. Larry? What? You really lost weight. That was the guy we defeated? You. You said Xena died. What does that mean? Uh, oh, I'm sorry for your loss. And I know it's a lot to take in, but, but you need to calm down. Calm down? My wife is dead and you want me to calm down? This is going off the rails really fast. We have basically handled this worse than anything could have possibly handled this. Hey, hold on now. You only just woke up. Think about all your Giggler friends back home. Think about yours, but don't give up. Your wife shouldn't want to see you like this. Uh, I have no idea what to say to console him, but um, let's see. Your wife wouldn't want to see you like that. I'm not going to take his... The, his wife just died. I'm not going to throw it back in his face. I guess think about all your Giggler friends back home. My cousin Gary. He must still be alive. <laughs> Maybe I can find him. Is this really the guy we fought? Gary? Ain't that the name of the new president? What? How does Logan know all this? I guess he spent plenty of time out there, right? I heard that Gary took over the organization and ordered the rest to follow him elsewhere. I don't know what type of welcome this cousin of yours will give you. Huh? <laughs> uh, think about your responsibilities. Yes. I'm responsible for our holy book. Oh, wow. So he's not only president, but he's also the religious leader. Holy book. The cover says Giggle Company Handbook. I have one of these from Vega 5. Do you understand what this, this is? This is going to... Is he about to completely shatter his worldview? Oh my god, we should have just left him in the canyon. This is terrible. Yes, I can read. This book was with them when our ancestors took their first steps. It speaks of the sins of your people. They have partaken in deception and shall be punished accordingly. They will not qualify. There should be more. You seem to have a torn up version. They will not qualify for promotion. It means an employee violation. If they have violated the company rules, they will not be able to get a higher position in the company. That is all. What? Impossible! You're trying to trick me, human! Now, why would I waste time to do that? <laughs> that is a, the best possible answer. It's not divine punishment. But what about we must replace them city by city until Giggle Is the only available option to consumers. Yes, historically, Giggle was a technology company aiming for monopolization of the market. A common trend in old world business. Ethics was secondary to profits. Company? Business? I... I don't understand. It's our holy book. It told us to take over the world. Yeah, yeah. Simple misinterpretation. You are not the first to misunderstand the content of the book. <laughs> God, gee, the worst person to break this to him. I... Can't believe it. Well, you don't have to. But it's probably going to haunt you for the rest of your life. Director Chi, what are you doing here anyway? <laughs> yeah, it's like, dude, bro, you're just making this worse. I was just getting a checkup on my heart rate, but this is far more. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just jab him, Doc. <laughs> what should I say? You, your wife wouldn't want to see she you. She was supposed to grow old with me. Ugh. Raise our young. And now she's but a memory. 
bittersweet. Oh, that's so sad. Well, when I was looking into your old spot... Go on. I found some eggshells. No idea if they were yours, though. So his kids might still be alive? Huh? What? Jab him, Doc? Stop it, Justice! Uh, my head! He's unstable. We... <laughs> We are absolute monsters in this moment right now. This is so bad what we're doing to this poor guy. I'm I'm fine. Work is the lifeblood of the strong. That is why we smile on unpaid overtime. This is what the holy book, the company handbook, has taught me. Please, if there's anything else, I can handle it. You know what Yan's biggest mistake was? Was trying to swindle Sandrock and not the Gieglers. Yan was just a lowly commissioner who was just making away with some extra goals. But had he gotten himself in with the Gieglers, he could have been their god king. That's Yan's biggest problem was his lack of vision. <laughs> he could have he could have ruled. It would have been terrifying. The Gigglers are a pretty formidable threat. With Yan's understanding of technology, he could have turned them into the worst possible threat to Sandrock, far beyond Duvos. Oh my gosh. Larry, I am Trudy, the mayor of Sandrock. I know it's hard for you right now, but we have to clear up something. You tore up the peace agreement you signed with Howlett and tried to take over Sandrock after his death. I don't know what your plans are, but it seems to me like there's nowhere you can go back to now. If you abandon your previous plans of invasion, then we are willing to help you. When you have recovered, you may go where you please. She's so good. You, you'll help me. Well, we've already helped you. Uh, yeah, sure. The holy book was a lie my people I don't want to be your enemy I signed an agreement with Howlett I, I admired him but when he left the, the holy book said to honor the agreement without Howlett there was no agreement simple misunderstanding is all it seems that the Gigglers have considerably less cognitive function than us. <laughs> Gee. Look, I don't care what he's done before. He needs help, and us Sandrockers ain't the kind to turn someone away when they're in need. Larry, you get some rest. We'll talk in a bit. Now, we've taken enough of the good doctor's time. Let's get back to business, everyone. Okay. Uh, can't chat with him Don't anymore. Fine. Whoa. May I have some tissue sample? Hmm? Whoa, whoops. He wants Why? some tissue samples of the Giggler? Oh, God. such. I will get a saliva sample myself, but a tissue sample from you would be appreciated. Giggler's molt. Do they not? Oh, my gosh. Has Chi become a mad scientist? Patient privacy. But it's a Giggler. Oh, my God. Giggler racism is everywhere. Still, patient. Fine. Well, if it shuts its skin. No. <laughs> okay, I appreciate Fan Fang so much in this moment. Um, that was hilarious. Okay, what's going on over here? Trudy, I don't want to be rude, but why are we helping him? What if he's up to no good and started making trouble in the neighborhood? We just had it up to here with Duvos. You got to give it up to the developers for throwing in these random cultural references that are just totally disconnected, right? I know, Justice. And you're right. But we just can't throw out an injured like that, human or not. We'll keep a close eye on him. If something goes wrong, I'll take full responsibility. All right. Your call. Come on, Justice. Just give it a chance. A trial run. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, dude. You too? I thought you'd be the first with the pitchfork. <laughs> hey, y'all gave me a second chance, didn't you? That's a great point. Well, I'm going to get Burgess to do a psychiatric test on Larry, just to be sure. Leave this to me and Builder Justice. You and Logan have too much history with him. 
I cannot wait to find out what the results of Burgess's psychiatric tests on Larry are. So, uh, how about it? Want to help me give a little test to Larry? Uh, yes. Great. I'll go get Burgess. Okay, this is going to be... Excuse me, this is going to be hilarious. Burgess, this is Larry. He's the one that needs to take your test. He speaks our language. Ah, uh, nice to meet you, Mr. Giegler Larry. I'll be administering the Roaring Sand Shark test. I'll show you some pictures. You tell me what you feel. The Roar Shark test? I like that. I like <laughs> that that's how that term evolved through the centuries. Okay. Well, Builder, Larry, why don't you two take it together? A builder can be the control group. <laughs> I'm the control group? Am I the most mentally stable character in the game? Hmm, I don't know about that. I don't know how I feel about, about that. <laughs> okay. You're screwed, Giegler. <laughs> this is so unscientific. There is no way that you could compare the, the psychiatric composition of a a human being and a giggler, right? They're completely different species, completely different lifestyles and cultures and viewpoints and everything. Cognitive abilities. I mean, not to be insulting, but it's pretty obvious that our, cog our cognitive state is different. Maybe not better or worse, smarter or dumber. I'm not even necessarily trying to say that. Just fundamentally different. So I, I don't know. I feel like this is going to be inherently unfair. Okay, what should I say? Serenity, a human child, loneliness. Oh, so I have to say what this invokes in me? I guess serenity, this doesn't really seem lonely. It's quite peaceful. She doesn't really look like a human child either. That's like, I guess that's like the most literal direct. I would say serenity. I see a human child. Yes. That, that I'd say is a normal. Nothing else? No uh, happy feelings? Well, Larry, that's number two. What does that mean, that's number two? I would like to point out his really weird shoes with his little toe booties. These are a trip. Next picture. Okay. Whoa. Um, hard to see exactly what's this. Heroism. I don't get a sense of heroism from this. Nor do I necessarily get war. I don't really like any of these options, frankly. The only thing that gives me a sense of heroism is that it looks like he may be riding on a goat, which then makes me think of Logan. Is he hunting? Futility? No, it's not that dark. I guess I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say heroism. The holy book says. Acts of undue violence will be met with severe punishment, not limited to on-the-spot firing from a cannon into the sun. <laughs> I don't think it says that, but I like that. Acts of undue violence will met, be met with severe punishment. So they are not like a murder cult. They actually have laws. Wow. I agree with the first part. Not so much about the cannon, though. Uh, let's just take that no violence yes. bit. Let's move on. Oh, interesting. A human and animal from friendship with animal, metaphorically devouring the soul. These are so bizarre. Um, what does this invoke in me? This is a terrifying state to be in. This human in this picture is so painfully outmatched by this bear is that if they were to fight, the human is dead. Absolutely dead. Now, that being said, bears can be, I don't think they can be tamed necessarily they will always be wild animals but people do make friends with bears i mean some of my favorite videos on youtube are like people that have uh, like raised bears from cubs and they're just like rolling around with them i see it with like lions too i would never be capable of doing that so i will say friendship with animals what's wrong larry what do you see it it reminds me of someone oh perhaps uh howlet who howlet when we made the agreement, we shook, hand to claw. When I saw this picture, it reminded me of that day. Okay, I'm learning to like the Gigglers more and more. Larry, that feeling? It's called friendship. Friends. 
I understand. Whoa, a couple deep of the a past love, now only a memory. The depths of the stair will all wither away. <laughs> My God, option number three is so insanely dark. Um, a couple deeply in love. Well, I'm going to go with this one, obviously, because I am madly in love with my wife. Cena. Oh, Cena. this poor guy. Of course this picture is going to make him feel pain. An old love. Larry, are you okay? His wife died, bro. I loved you, Cena. Where are you? Where have you gone? Why did you leave me? A love lost. A story as old as time. I understand, Larry. Phew! Okay, we're finished. Now, let me see the results. Okay. Wowee! You're as stable as a table. I am? Okay, great. So, Burgess, how did our President Larry fare? Let me see. Normal as can be. No violent tendencies, no hateful feelings. Just a tinge of 100% <laughs> genuine sadness. It's like he's he's selling a smoothie. <laughs> Jesus. So he should be safe to live amongst us? Uh, so is this guy going to join the town? I would give a most certain yes. He seems to understand us and doesn't hold any harmful feelings. Oh, great. I like that he keeps looking back and forth. Thank you, Mayor. Uniform boy. <laughs> Strong person. And quiet lady with bird. <laughs> quiet lady with bird. <laughs> Larry, have you thought about what you'll do next? <laughs> I was so unexpected. No. If I go back, I might have to fight Gary for the leadership position. I don't want that. If I may, I would request that I be permitted to stay in Sand Rock a while longer. Okay, I'm making a petition that in the next DLC that we can buy, we get outfits for the remaining members of the town and Larry the Giggler. Of course, Larry. Take all the time you need. I'll check to see if someone might have something for you to do in town to sustain yourself. Although, truth be told, there might be some resistance to see a former enemy in town. I think we'll be all right. I mean, they let the magic mirror go. Logan's back. Everything will be okay. Hell, Miguel's still in prison. I'll leave you for now. Make yourself at home. And welcome to Sandrock. Welcome to Sandrock, Larry. Okay. Well, that was a lot to have happen before 9 a.m. in the morning. How incredibly exciting. What is going to be happening for the rest of the day then? Okay, we've got something big. Oh, that's right. We have a meeting to attend to here. I'm sure we need to make... What's going on? Me and Desire something. Um, not much I can really do for you there, me and just yet. Let's see. Do we have any missions? No, we just have this tomorrow. This will be really cool. And do I have in my inventory... It doesn't look like it. I'll have to make sure I have that in my inventory. What was I doing? Oh, I was blowing the whistle. And we've got to fix our damn house. Our house is a freaking mess. Wait, we're over here. I want to see if perhaps I have a few more relics that I can build really, really quickly. Let's find out. Okay, we do. We have the Grand Theater. Cool. Um, let's restore that. Giant Wild Goose. Ooh, wait. No, I can't restore that. We can do two more of these horrifying... No, that just tells me I have them in my thing. We can do another DNA model. I'll do it. That's kind of cool. We have this Meowsis statue. Excellent. Excellent. Um, I should probably turn the Meowsis statue in, right? Elegant flower. We could do the grand theater here. We could. Um, and I probably should. I probably should, right? Yeah, I think I should. As much as I want to hang on to it. Mm, this is tough. No, we'll, we will donate it. We will donate it because we're not selfish bastards. Okay, there we go. 
if I got a DNA model, that'll be cool. And I think we have a few other relic things. We'll be able to boost up our relic room really, really quickly. Okay, let's go see what the future holds for us. We have a big story thing today when it comes to um, now that the road, the tunnel is finished. So what's left? There can't be much left, right? Yeah, <laughs> Mint is back, our guy. Ah, hey, nice to see you again. You too, bud. Going to the meeting as well? Mr. Musa asked me to come coordinate with Heidi on the final stage of the Sandrock Porsche Road. And who am I to turn down a long train ride? You know, I haven't been on a train ride in a long time. I've been on a few in my life. They are nice. The rumbling of the train really helps me drift off. It's good to Thanks. see you again. Yeah, it's been a while. I love this guy. He's so sweet. It's nice to be back in Sandrock, though. I've got a lot to talk to Space Case about. Is that Chi? I'm sure. Anyway, we've got a meeting. Let's not keep them waiting. I hope he's still here when Chi gets the sword done. <laughs> they don't, I hope they don't kill each other with it. Thank you for coming, everyone, and welcome back, Mint. This meeting is for us to get an update on the current situation of the Sandrock Porsche Road Project, as well as what needs to be done next. Okay. With that said, I'll turn it over to you, Heidi, Mint. Lay it on us. Thank you, Mary Trudy. I'm happy to be back as well. Things are finishing up on the Porsche side. The tunnel through the southern Eufaula range has been completed, and Mayor Gale is currently setting up a trading hub. Cool. I understand the tunnel is also done here in Sandrock? So, does that mean that southern Eufaula was blocked basically on both sides by big mountain ranges? Did we just open up a whole new area to potentially settle? Yep, just certified it. Oh, that's good. Hmm? D did President Yan get <laughs> rid of his mustache? Sort of. Uh, no, no, my boy. I'm Wei, the new commissioner here. Nice to meet you. It's so confusing. Yeah, <laughs> you have no anyway, idea. Anyway, <laughs> that means we're right on schedule. <laughs> All that's left is to lay the road and build the station. <laughs> I like that she's just like, just don't even ask, move on. <laughs> we're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> Everyone just forget that Yan ever existed. I assume Mr. Musa will be running the bus route, right? Does he need buses? Porsche has started working on a long-haul bus. Mayor Gale wants to make sure that when the road is done, we can start the routes as quickly as possible. So it's not a train? We're not building uh, a new train track? We're building buses, huh? That's a good idea. Uh, maybe we can help out in some way? Well, like one bus a day comes up from our ruins. I'm sure we could just fix one of those up, right? Well, I brought over an updated copy of the diagram for the long-haul bus. Mr. Musa wanted to commission you guys to build the water tank bus version, while Porsche builds the People Ferry version. That's cool. Oh, that's wonderful. Our Commerce Guild is up for the challenge. That we are. So, if I'm getting this right, we'll be handling the bus station and the water tank bus? That's right. Mint, let's talk about how we can finish the road after this meeting. No need to hold everyone up. Cool. Sure. I'll be sure to distribute the work through the mail tomorrow. So, look for that, builders. You got it. Got it. Then, okay. Everything's settled. Meeting adjourned. Thanks for coming, everyone. This is really exciting. We're like almost done, aren't we? Cool. Oh, she always says hi. I gotta say How's hi. your day? For me, it's just another endless day tweaking designs. Hun, make sure you're paying attention to your own health, too. We're both in this together. And I don't want our child growing up without a paw. Don't worry, darling. Do we have um something... Do, 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 do. Organic ceramic sheet, huh? Here's a limestone oh, brick. Thank you. <laughs> it's the funniest thing in the world to me that I just give her construction materials <laughs> and she loves it. <laughs> I haven't found the ones that she really likes though. Maybe if I started giving her like the crazy alloys or something. Okay. We took care of that. I don't see anything else on the map that we need to handle. Nope, 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 nope. So, you know what? There was a ladder. We haven't finished exploring over here. Maybe one day we will. 
Maybe one day we will, but not today. What we're going to do today is we're going to head back home. And I'm going to keep on. Obviously, I'm going to see what new um, commissions I can take on. I know we've probably gotten a bunch of ore. Yes, we have. There we go. Okay, beautiful. And, oh, these are done. Nice. Uh, harvest. Okay, they ate all of those up. Let's see. Oh, they actually didn't mind them. Oh, well, that's great. I'm going to feed them chestnuts from now on. This does not make me feel bad at all. Although one of them liked them more than the other. So who is the... Cheep, 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 cheep. Oh, so cute. Hi, guys. So was it the hens that liked it or the rooster? That's the question. Oh my gosh, they're so loud. They're so loud. It's so fun. Whenever we get baby chicks, we put them in a big HDX hub with a heat lamp in the living room. And then for weeks until they're like grown enough to go outside. So booster, the yellow one. Let me see. The yellow one is the hen. Okay, so, or the yellow one is the rooster. Okay, so the hens like the chestnuts more than anything. So my guess is booster. Actually, they all seem, nobody really, chickens are very easy. They will eat anything. Chickens are psychopaths. You know what else? You know what chickens will eat? They'll eat other chicken. You throw chicken out there, they will eat it up. They don't know. Freaking psychopaths. Not that I'm like trying to turn chickens into cannibals necessarily, but you know, you throw the animals, basically whatever leftovers you have, and they will eat it all. They're mad. They're mad psychos. Um, oh dear. Okay, so I actually can't pick all this stuff up. Oh no, it's because I'm so close to, okay, this, um, chest placement isn't my favorite, actually. See that? That's really annoying. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Let's go say hi to our giant head bunnies. Hello, domes. Freaking cute. And then let's make sure that they don't keep making a mess. And there's Yaki Poo just waiting to be told to go back. Have I filled the Yaki Poo's food bin up? Let's check. Probably it's been a while. He's fine. He's just fine. He's the only one that I've tried giving Sandberry to. Hey, bud. Why don't you return home? More fertilizer. Let's do it. Okay, let's look at the commission board. That's easy. There's a ton of them. Um, let's see. These are always really easy to do too. We'll take that. And then I don't have any of those, but I do have a ton of tea. Okay, so we'll just grab basically some easy ones. I will say that by grabbing the low hanging fruit like that, it's not like we're making a ton of money. I'll need to grab more soy sauce when I can. Okay, this is ready for an upgrade. Let's do it. Yes, look at that super, super uh, cooking station. I love it. Okay, what in the world are we gonna do with this house? This is vexing me to no end. Okay, I actually don't mind. Sounds like plants are, oh wait, what is that? Is that in here? I thought I heard something spouting. Oh, what did I want to get? Okay, can we come over here and look at the plants that we have? Yes, this is so cool. Look at this. And it tells us, is this like how much time is left? Okay, so chestnut. So what was the other plant? There was another plant that I wanted to plant in here. It wasn't chestnuts. Hold on. What was it? I wanted to put in two trees. Let's make sure that we do that today. It was the coffee tea tree. Okay, so we have some time. We can run back and do that. This, I mean, this isn't going to progress at all until we get some more 
<sighs> Till we get a little more space, we could put some relics down in here though, right? What do we have in the world of relics? Didn't we just make some? I think we did. DNA model. I wish that we could put this on a shelf, but I guess we'll just start by putting it on the floor. Terrifying doll. Could these go in the bookshelf? No. This bookshelf is useless. I hate this bookshelf. Interact. Hiccup. It's, um, I believe what you would call absolute trash. Okay, so this is the room. We finally need to get back up and running because it's it's a disaster. Where let's start with some with some furniture. Obviously, we need to put some big windows on the front. Something like this. There we go. We can put this elegant sofa right here. Do I have a coffee table? I have to have a coffee table, right? Elegant tea table. Here we go. Yes, there we go. Look at this, starting to look somewhat like a room. I feel like this needs to get extended out, don't you? So we'll say confirm. Boop, boom, boom. And I might do the same thing with this kitchen. Let's start by doing this. Okay, that's a good start. And then my idea is basically to shrink this so it matches this. But in order to do that, let's do this. Uh, disassemble group. I guess they don't actually have to change the size of the kitchen, right? I do love the kitchen sort of as it is. So it can just go like right here. This is probably fine. I do feel like something needs to go up here. Ooh, I like that. Actually, this could be more of a deck. So the point of these lights was to basically shine over this. Okay, so all this needs is like a little table. Would this look nice up here? Ooh, I like that. Look at that. A little bench, there's a little bench right here and then maybe like a little table with some chairs finally have a place for our freaking hydrangeas. Cool. Oh, we could put our cactus out here. There we go. We could put another flower box out here too. Okay. Oh, look at this. That is so tall. <laughs> Why is it so big? Okay, retrieve. Um, I thought I had two of these, but I just retrieved one. Did it like go to the mailbox or something? Okay, cool. Look, I got a little porch. How fun. Okay, let's, here we go. From construction junction. Okay, yeah, so all of this stuff just goes back here. Construction junction. Okay, we got a couple G collectors in my sofa. Everything got messed up. Oh, and things got messed up in my kitchen. Okay, so we should be able to fix this really, really quickly. Look at my little front. Uh, look, I have a little, um... Okay, okay. Okay, so these stairs, this is not how I wanted these stairs before. Okay, so how am I going to do this? 
and fix this. God, why is this? This is this is way more difficult than it needs to be. Okay, that actually works. Let's go in here. Okay, so then everything, oh my God, why? Why does this come through the wall like that? It's so bad. That should not happen, right? Come on, come on, because where else would I, I'm not gonna put the stairs one slot away from the wall. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, Um. well, okay, I'm done bitching about it. Maybe I can hide it with this stuff. So let's see. It's cool that you can put a spice rack in here, but the fact that we can't put spices in it bothers me. Okay, so I think we can hide this stuff just fine. Where did my rustic hood, this can go right here, that works. And then rustic cabinet can go over here. Okay, that's fine. This needs to move. That actually isn't a problem. Oh, the sink needs to be like reversed. Uh, we could use a big window right here. I think it's the canopy windows that I like. Yes, it is. We're a little short on art. You know what would be really nice in here is some low cabinets, right? That would be really cool. Low cabinets with countertop space. I would like that. Um, this is not as nice as I had it before, mostly because it's spread out. If I got some more chairs, this would be fine, but let's check this out. Ooh. You know what though? As great as this is, can I get up now? Um. I sort of want this to sit. Oh. Can we like access it from No, you can't. Okay. Dang. I guess the best spot for it is right here, huh? Certainly seems to make the most sense. That's as far out as that's gonna go, okay. Well then, perhaps. Oh, is it these that are sprouting? Excellent. Uh, I do need to dig up all of this. Okay, 
The last thing I want to do before it gets too much later is go get some coffee trees. So let's ride. I mean, we're kind of doing a little bit every day. Hold on. Before I do that. We have those. I made those. We have those. Let's get all of this together so that we can turn this stuff in. I thought that I told this thing to craft all this. Did I not? Here we go. get one uh, I'm sure that I will get another one soon enough we should get these Let's keep those going Ooh, haloxian fruit whoa can I plant this in my greenhouse what can't I plant in my greenhouse I think that's the more important question right Go turn in a bunch of this stuff. Whoa, hello, what just happened? Sometimes the camera just freaks out. It's like, I have no idea what you're doing, so I'm going to panic. Here you go. Thank you. Given time, I'm sure I could have come up with something to vaporize all those tunnel monsters for you, but I suppose there is some merit to the humane method devised by the rancher's daughter. In any case, I quite look forward. I'm, qu I'm quite looking forward with more frequent visitations of my good friend Sleepy Mint. Cute. They get so to hang out. Bye. Um, how close are we? this. I think it's one more day, right? One more day and we'll have the advanced tailoring machine. And then obviously we're doing this one next. We have to get our factory online. Um, and then I think what I'm probably going to do, where's Rakipu? Oh, he's back here. There he is. There he is. Come here, you old goat. Don't run over my head. Don't run over my head. You crazy animal. Um, the next big thing that I want to spend money on is probably if I'm being if I'm really thinking about it is just to really focus on expanding the lot. I think that um, I could not have gone a more roundabout way for this. Could I have? No, I don't think so. Who is this? Am I giving this to Amira? Um, I think that I need to separate the factory and the house. I think having the two together is making for quite the mess. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Um, was there any chatting to be had here? Yes, I hadn't really planned to visit Porsche, but now that you've almost finished the tunnel, I'd be a fool not to. Uh, that was a huge boost of friendship there. Uh, having the factory and the greenhouse separate from the house would just make trying to design my house so much better, so much better. In fact, I wish that I hadn't tried this weird little side plot into putting the house on top of the factory. In the first place, it's just made everything so difficult. I feel like I haven't, I, I don't have a home to live in. Hey, Vivi, have some tea. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, let's see, chat, uh -huh. the nerve of those sandworms. Thinking they can take up residence in our temple. Get your own, sheesh. See ya. <laughs> see ya. Okay. Magic Mirror has something to say, huh? 
Greetings, master. Welcome home, master. Beauty, splendor, master. You are married to masters? Two most beautiful people in the world? Okay. <laughs> I'm glad that that made you happy. Searching my time, result zero. Please try again later. <laughs> okay. Um, makeover, hire. 2,000 a month, hiring period one month. I have yet to know what that is for. And I think I'm trying to be a little conservative with my expenditures. So I'm not going to spend that money just yet. Um, I am gonna come by here though and see if I can get my hands on some furniture. Uh, I could use one of these for the kitchen. There we go. Basic cushion chair, rustic dining table. Simple cabinet. Okay, so what's the cabinet do? I'm gonna get the, one of those just to see. We have one of these. Oh, he sells sandberries. Oh, well, let's buy a bunch. See what happens. I don't see any wardrobes for sale. Diapers! Oh my god. I don't think there anything stresses out the idea of being a parent more than suddenly having to buy diapers. Holy crap. Want to ride home? Let's go, babe. Let's go. Okay, we have been at this episode for quite a long time. Um, let's see. Yaki Poo. Interact. Head home. There we go. Heidi Poo. No more following. Do your thing, babe. Yeah, unable to accept any more commissions. Okay, so one thing that I need to start doing is smelting ore. Um, the other thing I need to do, <laughs> this was going to be my relic room. I have one DNA stand in here. Holy moly. Okay, so I did get um, one tree, which brings me much joy. What was it? It was a coffee bean tree. Let's put that right here, and it's not going anywhere. There we go. Excuse me. Oh, no. I hate it when it does this. Okay. The fact that it just drops a stairs right in the middle of every room every time you do something is so frustrating. Okay. Something tells me that we're going to get a bunch of plans really soon. Uh, let's say sort all... That can actually go in the wardrobe. But I'm looking for a sand, my sand gear helmet. Here we go, I'll take that. We do need to fix our wardrobe thing. I should start, what I was going to say is I need to start smelting ore probably right now, uh, or probably two days ago. Uh, this one's been smelting ore actually, so let's see. I uh, don't need to make ceramic plates. Let's see, we'll do this. We have a ton. Zinc titanium alloy? Okay. I want to be a little thoughtful on this. We can definitely do a bunch of those. And then I'll throw a silver ingot in behind it. But in terms of titanium and zinc, it looks like we have more of the titanium. So we don't, um, I could probably get away with, there's the big one right here. Sweet little birdies, cheap in a way, aren't they adorable? Um, I could probably get away with doing these. Let's throw those in behind it. There we go. And that's 
probably fine. That should probably prepare us for whatever is coming down the line next. Uh, we made more of these. We can actually probably make more. I should have bought soy sauce while I was at um, under the stairs. Okay, everyone has enough food, yes? Almost. They have tons of chestnuts and they're very happy about it. Great. Cool. Was that all my relics? I mean, I guess we could put some other stuff in here. I feel like this techno table was sort of a relic, right? I mean, I could put this big ridiculous thing on here. This terrifying thing. The fact that I can't just put these on shelves, uh, it bothers me a lot. I don't need to complain about it anymore. Okay, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Here we go. This is sort of a bedroom. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> or sort of a living room, I mean. That was in my bedroom. Wasn't it? Uh, we could put that in here. I do need pictures on the walls in here, so let's see. Here's a picture of Lucian. Ooh, the Desert Rose photo. This one always brings much joy. This can go right here. This window could go over one. There we go. Do, 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 do. This one's my favorite. So cute. There we go. Okay, it's sort of a room. <laughs> it really is so awkward. Um, I almost would make sense to split this into two rooms and make over here a nursery or something like that. Um, the last thing that I gotta do. The bed is in the way. The bed needs to come over one, doesn't it? Heidi is going to be pissed with me. This is what she means by work-life balance. The fact that I'm constantly rearranging stuff in the middle of the night. Okay, so this, oh, we had two of these. Okay, can this go over one? Yeah, there we go. This can actually go down in our real, little relic room. This is sort of in the middle. Let's see, so we'll move this. Come on, come on, there we go. Right here, I guess. This is in an awkward spot too. Are these matching? They are matching, okay. What's this one? Yak boy painting. Uh, I feel like that can go in the other room. There we go. What happened to the pants that I was using? What just happened?
Oh no. Uh, I'm stuck. Okay. I am completely stuck. The only way we're gonna be able to fix this. Oh, this sucks. I cannot, I dropped it right on top of myself. And I can't, uh, can I, what did I pick up? No, I picked up the gorgeous painted pottery. Okay, so here's, I think the only way to fix this is to let the night run out. <laughs> I'm just staring at the ankles of my, out, my own outfit, which is in my closet and I'm wearing. This makes no sense. <sighs> my friends, thank you so much for watching till the end. Hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm just gonna let this run out. And, uh, you know, we'll wake up tomorrow and everything will, I'll pass out and it'll be fine, right? It'll be fine. The game will reset and it'll be fine. So I appreciate you all so much. I bid you farewell and I look forward to seeing you all next time.